What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Megan 2.0 in this video here again today. We're going to be going over what could be happening in Megan 2.0 as it pertains to some comments that James Wan gave to Empire Magazine a while back while also touching on some recent comments that came out from the McGraw sisters courtesy of a conversation they had with Discussing Film, which I'll kick off before I dive into these rumored details of what could be going on in Megan 2.0. So Megan 2.0 apparently is going to be shooting very soon, according to Violet McGraw and her sister Madeline, who we know starred in The Black Phone last year. Both sisters spoke with Discussing Film recently, and Violet expressed excitement over reuniting with the cast and crew while confirming that she 100% will be returning as Katie in the upcoming sequel to Blumhouse's hit horror film from last year which will also once again be pinned by Akilah Cooper. Now, during that same exchange with Discussing Film, Madeline stated she's a little she's a little down because her sister, Violet, is leaving to begin filming Megan 2.0 soon. So that's how we know production is about to start soon. Not only that, but this conversation with the McGraw sisters is kind of echoing Ryan Turek, who previously spoke with Collider to confirm that Megan 2.0 is underway. They haven't started shooting or anything like that, but they're aiming towards that January release date that was set, which we know Megan 2.0 is supposed to arrive in January of 2025. Now the McGraw sisters, days after what Ryan Turek had to say, uh, Madeline has come out stating that her sister is going to be leaving to start shooting that soon. So I would guess that filming for Megan 2.0, if I were to guess, would begin in mid to late February at, at the earliest, maybe March. James Wan, we know, also told Empire a few months ago that it's early, but Megan is coming back in a big way. And again, we might have an idea of what that big way is. He says the first film came just at the right time when concerns about AI were mounting and we're definitely leaning into that on the next one. We're exploring the AI universe even further. Well, like I mentioned, we may have an idea of how Megan 2.0 will lean into and explore the AI universe even further. Now, everything new that I mentioned going forward is rumored, unconfirmed, and alleged until Blumhouse, Akila Cooper, Universal Pictures, other crew, or major reputable outlets say otherwise to confirm it. So we know 100% that in the original film, Katie's parents passed in a car crash. Her aunt Gemma adopts her and Gemma's new android creation, Megan, became Katie's new BFF until the body started dropping. Gemma's or Gemma also, I think, worked for this company, definitely a toy company. I think they were named Funky and Megan was supposed to be Funky's new hit that scared off other kid toy competitors that were in the same market as them. You had Kurt, who was one of the Funky employees, pulling a Dennis Nedry, if you will, by stealing Megan's database for his agenda against Funky. We are shown Kurt taking Megan files and he's copying them over to his own personal folder. Now, unfortunately for Kurt, he didn't make it out of Megan alive, but his agenda against Funky might have. The ending of Megan teases that Elsie, Gemma's Alexa-like device, has been infiltrated by Megan after her body is destroyed at the end of the film. A clear sequel bait attempt, but allegedly Kurt's little scheme is very relevant in this sequel. This is an assumption I'm making because everything else, again, is just rumored details going forward as it pertains to what I want to talk about. And a lot of this stuff outside of the specifics of what I'm going to get into are going to be me speculating on how this stuff came to be. Now, again, this isn't confirmed, but Megan 2.0 is rumored to be introducing a new doll named Amelia. Amelia shares the same code as Megan, which means that they have Gemma's influence in the mix and thus would have to imply that Kurt successfully sent off those files to competitors and said competitors have launched their own doll called Amelia. Now, of course, it's possible that Gemma is the one responsible for the creation of Amelia. Uh, and this is also from Funky. But given the implications that we had in Megan, I would have to assume that Amelia exists because Kurt successfully got the details necessary over to a competitor. And this is the competitor's doll. Now, in fact, Amelia could also just simply be part of a line of dolls from this competitor. And this is just one that happens to be named Amelia, kind of like how the good guy dolls all have their own different names. But the doll 100 percent allegedly shares the same codes as Megan and is rumored to attempt to corrupt a revived Megan into joining their side. So what is it with Amelia? What is her goal? So Megan might not even be the villain in this next film and we could be in a versus situation. However, 
Other rumored details indicate that Amelia is seeking out Megan because it wants the original source, which is Megan, to act as its mother. Now, I would assume Amelia is nothing more than a prototype similar to Megan being a prototype, but we'll just have to wait and see. But that is an interesting development. If there is a new doll, it's seeking out the original source material to act as its mother because it viewed itself as the child of Megan. So in a way, we could be entering Seed of Chucky territory for the Megan franchise. <laughs> it's not even a franchise. We just could be entering Seed of Chucky territory within the Megan universe already in the sequel. Because, again, there's rumored to be a new doll that's going to be introduced. And this doll is named Amelia. And Megan and Amelia are rumored to have some sort of confrontation at some point during this film. Because Amelia has sought out Megan since they share the same source code and wants Megan to perform its duties as Amelia's mother. Also, I would have to assume that Amelia probably doesn't like uh, Katie and her aunt Gemma because of their treatment towards Megan. Amelia's whole existence is what I do not know about. I don't know how Amelia came to exist. I don't know if it's because of Kurt and him successfully getting those files over to a competitor or if it's Gemma who created Amelia. I also, of course, don't know how Megan is revived since her body was destroyed, but Megan 100% seems to be revived in the upcoming sequel. There's a new doll named Amelia who I would have to assume came from Kurt shifting off or sending off those documents to competitors, and this is their creation. I would love to see how this all unfolds, but what do you guys think about a new doll being introduced in Megan 2.0? Do you think this is a appropriate way to expand on the AI concerns? Why or why not? How do you think this would even be used to commentate further? Because I was also looking at these rumored details going, maybe it's saying it wants to be Katie's mother, but that's not what it seems is a safe assumption. The safer assumption means, for me anyway, with, with them having the same source code, is that it wants Megan to op operate as its mother. We'll just have to wait and see how this all comes together. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.